Since 2000, malaria mortality rates across the world have fallen by nearly half. Anti-malarial drugs, including artemisinin combination therapies, have been pivotal to this progress. But the spread of drug-resistant malaria in the greater Mekong sub-region is threatening this success. If drug-resistant malaria expands to Africa, where malaria rates are the highest, we could see a massive resurgence in death. So how can we tackle the spread of drug-resistant malaria? By strengthening the surveillance systems to find every malaria case. By ensuring every case is correctly diagnosed and treated with microscopy or rapid diagnostic tests. By educating, protecting and treating all communities, including mobile and migrant populations by combating poor quality, counterfeit and fake drugs, and by investing in new drugs to treat malaria. There is a plan. National, regional and global bodies have committed to eliminate malaria in the Asia-Pacific by 2030. We need politicians, donors, NGOs and citizens to mobilise political and financial support and encourage endemic countries to act now to remove the threat of drug-resistant malaria and eliminate the disease. <laughs>